Hi, thank you for watching. This is my Cisco 16, oh, CAP 161602i. Okay, in my last video, I could not, well, I wasn't able to update the firmware using Ethernet. Instead, I transferred or oh, I installed the I installed the firmware using serial serial transfer, but I, I somehow I finally succeeded in succeeded in transferring by using Ethernet. Ethernet. So this is what I'm going to show you today. Okay, so so let's start from enabling enable Cisco. And I'm going to show version here. So this is a firmware which is on current. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, here it is. And I'm going to erase everything. Erase, erase flash, flash, flash the directory. Erase flash here. Erase and confirm. So about about three, four, five minutes. So it, the screen returns to this AP. AP. Okay, and um, I'm gonna do again. Show version. Still, the memory is still on. So I'm gonna reboot. I'd say. Boot again. Boot. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Boot. Uh, re reload. I'm sorry. Reload. Yes. Reloading. So it should. The no firmware should show up. And so you're going to be prompted to. Okay, this is a AP. Okay, this AP is so ROM, Roman mode, or Roman mode. I don't know. Roma, Roman mode. Some, some of people call Roman mode. Now from here, I'm gonna, um, you, I'm gonna set. I, I'm gonna prepare. Okay, hi. So after erasing a file and reloading, reloading the firmware. You you should be prompted to ROM ROM prompt like it shows AP here. A, um, it should show AP. Now I'm gonna prepare for TFTP server transfer. Okay, you should set IP set IP underbar address. One this should be one six eight one one. Mine is my my IP address for this for this this access point is this I assign this and set net mask it's ordinary you should use this number and set the this is a gateway default under router this is a gateway for your network. One six nine one six eight one one one. All right. So this is the IP address of of my cap and this net mask. And this is my router. See, this is not direct. Direct. It, I'm I'm assigning everything to my network. And after that, you're gonna TFTP underbar net initiating. And uh, flash, flash, underbar, net, and uh, ether, underbar, net. All right. So everything is ready for this part. Okay. I come back later. Okay. So now uh, the. Um, the cat part is ready, so I have you have to set up your TFTP server. So this is the file I expanded it, and I click this one application, and here 
I have to set up. So this is how I set. Right, this is how I set up. Okay. Um, current directory that you should you should make TFTP with your folder directory at your root, and this is the address of this computer. This is the computer I'm using now. 192.168.1136 and uh, there's a little button here setting it says setting so I open up the setting here and the base directory and you click option negotiation okay you follow this one and make sure you're gonna specify the address of the computer you're using one night. So this is a, this is my IP address, and the global only you check TFTP server, TFTP everything else I haven't touched here. And I browse. Okay, show directory. Okay, so the, in this directory, C prompt C dot TFTP folder. I have these two files. Files I have downloaded. All right. So actually, this is a file. So I put it in here, APG one. Okay, and I'm gonna close here. Oh, I have to remember the name. Okay. Okay. So let's 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 transfer. Okay, tar bar space bar. Okay, I'm sorry, so you can't see it. It's quite a longer tar extract 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 TFTP column slash the IP address one six two one six eight. 1136. This is the address of my FTP server. Flash. Now you don't. Now you are gonna put the name of the file. Here. This is it. This is it. I'm sorry. This is it. Um, this is the file you're gonna specify. And at the end, you have to write flash column. This is the destination. Okay, here. And at the end, tar flash column and go. And if you look at the log of your TFTP server, it should say like this. It should say Give an approach. See, connection received from the IP address of my firmware. And it's going to go about four or five minutes updating it. Okay, so this should work. I'm sorry. Uh, in my last videos, I could not succeed transferring using Ethernet, but now I did. So please make use of it. Well, it's going to take, I don't know, maybe one minute or two minutes. It's a lot shorter than doing it by serial on transfer. And at the same time, this, uh, by using Ethernet, um, you don't have to transfer other files. This is a lot easier. Well, my Cisco is blinking like this, and writing firmware here, red signs, and that's gonna go on. All right, so the transfer is over, and so finally, you, I have a prompt coming here. And I'm gonna boot. Um, I say boot, not to root, to boot. There you go. Alright, this is the file 
So you have expand, it makes files. Oh, you should see it says air cap 1602i so this is my product number please wait just for a few more minutes a few more seconds oh at the top it, it is saying here it's called ASAP 1602IQ and this is my product number, it's just the ASAP 1602IQ K9. So that's my DHCP server and this machine, my my cap is getting IP address here automatically and uh, well just wait a few more seconds and you will see. Also, let's review some of the stuff here. Oh, it's a way back here. What did I do? What did I do? I'm reviewing it. Um, show the version. Well, I'll go back. And, uh, PPs. Erase the flash. And wait a while. And after erasing it, you should boot again, reload it. Reloading, after erasing and reloading, it will prompt you to, not this one, okay, boot, um, to AP. It will prompt you to um, AP prompt. And you set the IP address. This is the IP address of my cap and net mask and this is the IP address of my router and uh, TFTP initiating, flash initiating and Ethernet initiating. And after that type tar extract and TFTP and your IP address, backflash, backflash and uh, the file you're transferring and the destination flash. Okay. And before typing this, you have to prepare and put this file into the folder of your TFTP server. And you don't have to specify anything else. And after that, everything else is like this, extracting files and... Uh, and everything worked fine. Okay, this is... This is my AirCap 1620i and... So that's pretty much it. Okay, so this is pretty much it. AP prompt and Cisco. Okay, Cisco. You, hmm? I'm sorry. And Cisco. Okay, and show version here. This is it. And here, this is the version. And the product should look like it's blinking green. This is it. Thank you for watching. Bye.